clash between Hoyk and Melrose. Just under two years ago, Hoyk flanked forward Derek Turnbull, suffered an injury that finished his career. After 15 caps for Scotland, including the Grand Slam team of 1990, sitting on the sidelines has been tough, but now the man they call Sticks is back as the new Hoyk coach. Well, I had a wee uh, taste of coaching last year when I was involved with the, the Reavers under-21s and I enjoyed that, and I think uh, I've adjusted quite well to that. I realise I can't play now, and I'm desperately keen to put something back into the game, and I think coaching for me is the way I can do it. What about your aspirations for Hoyk this season, in particular the League Trophy? Well, the League Trophy is very much a new concept as far as uh, the start of the season. The main games be in November, so I think we're much the same as every other team. We want to do well in it, but it's obviously a build-up to the actual start of the, the Premier League games. Big match for the Greens today, taking on the champions of Scotland. Yeah, it's a, it's a good start for us. Uh, they've got a few players away, so have we. So the two balanced sides, so hopefully we'll see a good game of rugby and uh, Hoyt come out with a victory. Rob Moffat coached Melrose to a League and Cup double last season. A hard act to follow for Keith Robertson. The former Green Yards and Scotland winger with 44 caps under his belt, including the 1984 Grand Slam. Our success over the last 68 seasons has been incredible and obviously coming out in on the double as you say last season. So yep, it'll be hard to emulate. People keep on reminding me though we've got one more competition to win this season. So that's where we start today. Obviously against Hoyk, we've got a young side, a lot of really good young talent in the side and we look to sort of start our season from today and uh, hopefully get the success that we're after. What are your aspirations for the season, Keith? We're uh, looking for the Premier League, the Cup, and as I say, we've now got a league trophy to win. Uh, that starts today, and we're after every competition that we play in, the Border League included. The game at Mansfield Park doubled up as a Bank of Scotland Border League fixture, and in sunbathing temperatures, the intensity of the clash was there right from KO. The scores were tied three apiece after half an hour's play with an exchange of penalties. Melrose captain Andy Porvis's downfield kick was picked up by Hoyt fly half Gregor Sharp. Usually found out on the wing the number 10 was turned over and Hoyt were penalised for holding. In an adventurous set piece move from the penalty scrum half Will Laurie found fly half Scott Ruffin taken on by Ireland under 21 international David Watt and finished off by Bruce Ruffin. The centre racing in unopposed. His brother Scott obliged with the conversion kick and Melrose were 10-3 out in front. Hoyk snatched a try before the break. Lock Alistair Stevenson coming up with the ball, but Rose still held the advantage at 13 points to 11. The Greens up the tempo in the second half. Gregor Sharp broke down the right wing and his speculative crossfield kick hung in the air, beautifully picked off by Colin Murray. Tempers did flare in the baking sun. Typical of a hard borders derby. Melrose penalised for killing the ball. 19-year-old fullback Gavin Douglas put over the penalty and Hoyk eased 19-13 out in front. The one-time Hoyk Harlequin put the boot in with a well-taken drop goal. Then Grant Harris made a big breakthrough. A demoralised Melrose by this stage the flanker fed Gregor Sharp, who was in for try number three right under the post. Final score at Mansfield Park, Hoyt 32, Melrose 13. We've got a lot of young boys like you saw Garvin. Um, they played their hearts out. Our park played well, especially the second half, with all the ball we wanted. Had the win behind us and Garvin put the points on the board. But we're working at the start of the season. Your boot was on song 17 points, you must be pleased with that. I'm really pleased with me kicking well uh, uh, this week in practice, like, so really pleased. 